Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enhance the spatial resolution of Landsat 8 data using RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So now uh, to improve the spatial resolution of Landsat 8 data, uh, Landsat 8 data, first we have to download our Landsat 8 data. Now let me show you that. So this is an official site where you can able to download the Landsat 8 data. So this is USGS Earth Explorer, the official site. And the link will be given in the description to how to download the Landsat 8 data from this website called USGS Earth Explorer. So once you download your Landsat 8 data, navigate to the folder location. So this is my Landsat 8 data. So to extract the data from the zip folder, so you have to just right click and click this option called extract here. So once you did that, you can able to visualize the different files of Landsat 8 data. So now let me get back to my RGIS Pro. So once you have downloaded and extracted your Landsat 8 data, so navigate to the folder location. So for that, go to this option called View and click this option called Catalog Pan. So once you did that, you can able to visualize the window here, Catalog Pan. So now here, we're gonna click this option called Folders. So now we have to, to navigate to your folder location of your da downloaded Landsat 8 data. We're gonna add a folder connection. So right click and click this option called Folder Connections. And now I'm going to click this and click OK. And now here, this is my folder location of my downloaded Landsat 8 data. So now let me click this. So now we can able to visualize the different uh, bands that is available in Landsat 8 data. Now let me explain about the Landsat 8 data. So here you can able to visualize we have uh, 11 bands in uh, Landsat 8 data. So we have six bands of 30 meter resolution and one band of panchromatic image that is 15 meter resolution and we have two, two uh, thermal infrared bands of 100 meter resolution. So basically we're going to use this panchromatic band to uh, increase the spatial resolution of our Landsat 8 data. And now let me get back to my RGIS Pro. And now let me add the bands uh, number from band number 1 to band number 7 into our map. So for that we're going to click the click and hold our control key and let me select this bands and right click and click this option called add to current map so now we can able to uh, begin to visualize our bands here in our table of content section here so now we can able to visualize it and now here let me add my band 8 so band 8 is our panchromatic image. Now let me show you that. So here you can able to visualize the band 8 as a panchromatic uh, image of 15 meter resolution. So now let me add this image, right click and click this option called add to the current map. So once you did that, you can able to visualize this particular band 8 of Landsat 8 image. Now right click and go to this option called properties. So here we're going to visualize this particular option. And here you're going to navigate to this option called source and uh, in raster information, you can visualize the, the spatial resolution of this particular band aid. It is 15 meters. Now let me close this. And similarly, we're gonna take a look at this band one of Landsat 8 image. Right click and go to the option called properties. So here the raster information. So that is of 30 meter resolution of uh, Landsat 8 data. So now let me close this. So now we're going to band composite this band number 1 to band number 7. So for that we're going to select band 1 to band 7. We're going to hold the control key and we're going to select all the bands starting from B1 to B7. And once you did that we're going to move on to this option called imagery. And that we're going to click this option called process. So now we can able to visualize this particular option called composite. So it combines multiple data set into one multiband raster. So now we're going to click this. So now we have our composite image. So now this is our composite image. Now let me uncheck this. Now let us check the spatial resolution of this particular composite image. So go to the properties so in raster information. So it is 30 meter resolution. So now click OK. And now let me right click. So go to this option, option called Symbology. So now here you can able to visualize. We have uh, combined all the seven bands together. 
And now let me uh, make some band combination to uh, visualize our composite image in true color composite. In true color composite, for that we're gonna click the red as band four, and the green will be band three, and the blue will be band two. So now it is currently in true color composite. You can be able to visualize the details here. And now let's some uh, let me make some combination and false color composite. So for that we're gonna arrange. We're gonna select band five and band four, and we're gonna select band three. So now it is in uh, false color composite. So now the currently the panel our uh, the composite images of thirty meter resolution. So now we could like to convert this 30 meter resolution to a 15 meter resolution. So using our panchromatic band of 15 meter resolution. So for that, we're gonna open our geoprocessing tool. So we're gonna navigate to this option called view and click this option called geoprocessing. And now let us navigate to this tool. So click this option called toolboxes. So here we're gonna navigate to this option called uh, data management tools. So in that, we're going to navigate to this uh, tool called raster and here we're going to click this option called raster processing and uh, we're going to click this option called create a pan sharpened raster data so now let me click this so now this is our tool create a pan sharpened raster data set so now we're going to input our raster so that is our composite image and now here the red channel that is our red band. So we're gonna select the band four. So let me select band four. And for the green channel, we're gonna select band three. And for the blue channel, we're gonna select band two. And the infrared channel, it is our band five. Now choose your output file location. So now I have entered as composite uh, 15 meter dot tiff. So now let me click save. So now let me select my uh, panchromatic image. So we're gonna select this particular band called band eight. So band eight is our panchromatic image. Now let me show you that. So here you can able to visualize band eight is our panchromatic image of 15 meter resolution. So once you did that, we're gonna click this option called run. So let me click this. And now here you can able to visualize of a band sharpened image so you can able to visualize it. So it took pretty uh, long time like uh, I took around uh, 15 minutes to complete this process. So now let's take a look. So we're going to right click and move on to this option called symbology. So here you can able to visualize our uh, window called symbology. So we're going to select our false color composite. So let me select so now here you can able to visualize currently it is in true color composite now let me uh, set to a false color composite let me select five and uh, four and now let me select three and for alpha we're gonna select as band five so now we can able to visualize the image here and now let me zoom into one particular spot of this image and uh, let me uh, navigate to a uh, build up areas so here you can able to visualize the road here so you can uh, able to visualize the road network in the settlement this particular area here so let me turn off this composite uh, 15 meter resolution let me turn this off so you can able to visualize the difference and similarly now uh, let me navigate to another spot here So let me turn on this uh, 15 meter. You can able to visualize a slight increase in the spatial resolution. So you can able to view the road network uh, compared to the previous image, it's more clear. Let me show you here. And now this is another location. You can able to visualize the roads here in our 15 meter resolution. And let me turn this off. So here you can able to visualize the difference between 15 and 30 meters. 
So road nets and road networks are more clear in 15 meters compared to the 30 meter resolution. So now let me show you. Right click and we're gonna check this. Uh, click this option called properties. So here we're gonna visualize raster information. So here the current uh, spatial resolution is 15 meters. So you can able to see that. So in this video I have shown you uh, how to uh, increase the spatial resolution of uh, Lancet 8 image using ArcGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.